is a kalpana here in this video we are going to see a problem from mathematical induction so let's get started problem show that 1 into 6 plus 2 into 9 plus 3 into 12 plus so on n into 3n plus 3 equals to n times n plus 1 into n plus 2 okay so using mathematical induction we are going to show that the statement is true for all n belongs to natural numbers okay solution we have 1, 2, 3 and so on. n terms equals to n into n plus 1 into n plus 2, right? Here we have n terms, say tn equals to n into 3n plus 3. If you put n equals to 1, you will get 1 into 3 into 1 plus 3 equals to 1 into 3 into 1, 3 plus 3, which is equals to 1 into 3 plus 3, 6. First term. When n equals to 1, we will get first term. When n equals to 2, 2 into 3 times 2 plus 3 equals to 2 into 3, 2 is a 6 plus 3. 2 into 6 plus 3 is 9. When n equals to 2, we will get the second term. Likewise, when n equals to 3, 3 into 3 times 3 plus 3 equals to 3 into 3, these are 9. Plus 3. 9 plus 3 is 12. So, we will get 3 into 12, which is our third term. Right? Fine. Let P of N be the given statement. Then, P of N such that 1 into 6 plus 2 into 9 plus 3 into 12 plus so on plus n into 3n plus 3 is equals to n into n plus 1 into n plus 2. Now we'll show that the statement is true for n equals to 1 and if we want we can check for n equals to 2, 3 and so on and we'll assume that the statement is true for n equals to k some k which belongs to natural numbers here they have not represented n belongs to n or n belongs to q that is indices huh? sorry n belongs to z that is indices okay but simply we are assuming that n belongs to capital n okay fine and later we'll show that the statement is true for n equals to some k plus so when n equals to 1, we'll take the first term from LHS. 1 into 6 is equals to 6. Likewise, from RHS, we'll simply substitute n equals to 1. 1 into 1 plus 1 equals into 1 plus 2 is equals to 1 into 2 into 3. 2 3 is a 6, 6 into 1, 6. So here LHS equals to RHS, therefore. LHS equals to RHS. From this we can say that the statement is true for n equals to 1. The copy of n is true for n equals to 1. Okay. Therefore, P of 1 is true. Likewise, we can show for n equals to 2. When n equals to 2, we'll get the first two terms. We'll take the first two terms from LHS. 1 into 6 plus 2 into 9. 1 6 is a 6 plus 2 9 is a 18. 18 plus 6 is 24. Now coming to RHS. Substitute n equals to 2. 2 into 2 plus 1 into 2 plus 2 is equals to 2 into 3 into 4. Equals to 2 into 3 4 is a 12. 2 12 is 24. So here LHS equals to RHS. Therefore, LHS equals to RHS. From this we can say that P of N is true. When N equals to 2. Therefore, P of 2 is true. Okay. You can check for 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. 
What's up to you? Fine, now I assume that. P of n is true for some k which belongs to n. So here why we considered n instead of integers n instead of integers is we have plus here right we don't have any negative sign here we don't have we don't get any negative number okay we uh, will get almost positive or positive numbers i can say so n contains positive numbers right but coming to z we have negatives and also positive right since we have all positive numbers here we don't have any negative symbol or there is no chance of getting negative number here so that we are considering natural numbers n okay instead of taking integers okay fine then p of k such that 1 into 6 plus 2 into 9 plus 3 into 12 plus so on plus n into 3n plus 3 is equals to n times n plus 1 into n plus 2. Right. So here p of k holds since we have assumed that the statement is true for some k which belongs to n. From this we can say that p of k holds. Since p of k holds now we will prove for n plus sorry k plus 1 that is for n equals to k plus 1. We are going to prove the statement is true for n equals to k plus 1. Okay. So first consider k plus 1 terms. So here we will get k right. Kth term. Fine. One into six, two into nine, three into twelve plus so on plus kth term. K into two k plus three, two k or three k, three k plus three plus k plus one times three times k plus one plus three. Since we have one into six plus so on into k term equals to k into k plus one into k plus two. plus k plus 1 term 3 into k plus 1 plus 3 this equals to k into k plus 1 into k plus 2 plus k plus 1 into 3 into k 3k plus 3 plus 3 is equals to k into k plus 1 into k plus 2 plus k plus 1 into 3k plus 3 plus 3 is 6. Now take 3 common from these two terms. This equals to k into k plus 1 into k plus 2 plus k plus 1 into 3 times k plus 2. 3 into k, 3k, 3 into 2, 6. So this equals to, now 
we are having k plus 1 and k plus 2 in both the terms, right? So, take k plus 1 into k plus 2 common from these two terms. k plus 1 into k plus 2 into k plus 3. So, this equals to k plus 1 into k plus 2 into k plus 3. So, we need to write this in terms of k plus 1. So, that will split second and third term. So you can write this k plus 2 as k plus 1 plus 1. Simply we we'll split 2 as 1 plus 1 into. We can split this 3 as 1 plus 2. Okay. So that we will get k plus 1 here. So now. This of n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 form, right? RHS for n equals to k plus 1. So, from this we can say that the statement is true for n equals to k plus 1. Therefore, p of k plus 1 such that 1 into 6 plus 2 into 9 plus so on plus k into 3k plus 3 plus k plus 1 into 3 times k plus 1 plus 3 is equals to n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 for n equals to k plus 1. Okay. Therefore, p of k plus 1 is true whenever Whenever P of K is true. Therefore, P of N is true for N equals to K plus 1. Okay. So, you can write this. You can include a step here. Therefore, P of N is true for N equals to K plus 1. Thus, P of 1 is true and P of K plus 1 is true whenever P of K is true. Therefore, By the principle of mathematical induction, the given statement is true. numbers. Okay. So that's all for now. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then. Bye-bye.